Hey guys, it's Kate from Fitness Family and Food, and I uh, am down in my messy basement, but I wanted to go live and show you a quick tip. Uh, I'm finishing up a couple cups for this weekend's shows. I've got a couple big shows this weekend, and uh, I wanted to um, show you something that I have found is incredible not only for application, but also for saving money. And you know, you can always save a few bucks here or there. And I figured I would share and show you exactly what I mean. So let me turn it around. All right, so this is my uh, cup turner. I have a six cup cup turner. And uh, this is the side with the light. You can see over here, it's a little bit darker, but I've got a couple cups over there and it's very messy I try to keep this down and for my drips um, but other than that I just you know let it fall it doesn't really matter then these are the cups that I have on the turner this one is a, an order and uh, it has one more coat of epoxy and then the decal is going to come and then this one I just made for my show and it's getting ready to come off. I want to put one more final coat on and make it nice and smooth and glossy. So anyways, my tip to save you money is I used to use those foam brushes um, and every time I would use them to apply, they would soak up all the epoxy. I'd have to squish them out and like press them against the cup or press them against here or my spoon. Um, and I always felt like I was wasting epoxy. And then on top of it, the, um, the brush was done after one application because the epoxy would get hard and then I'd have to throw the brush away. Then I tried using just like a regular brush and that didn't work either because it got hard and I had to throw the brush away. And I always felt like it just wasn't even going on nicely. So this is what I use now. Let me see if I can get it in the light here for you. And I absolutely love them. Now you're probably looking at this thinking, oh, that's disgusting, look at that. Because it has leftover from the last application, right? And it's stuck to it, it's hard, it's not sticky. It's definitely hard, right? It's not going anywhere. And um, it looks like this is ruined but it is not this brush all I have to do is take it and bend it just a little bit and all of this will pop right off see it coming off and so I just take it bend it a little bit the hardened epoxy comes right off the silicone so that you can clean this brush and reuse it over and over and over and over again. And honestly, it is the most simplest thing and it works even for the little ones. Let me show you this one. Let me switch. Now this one, look, this one has this big glob. See that glob? Can you see it? Come on, focus. There we go. Big glob on there. Hard. Listen, it's hard. So instead of throwing it away and having to waste, look at that, simple. And now I have a nice clean brush that I can use. They're soft, they're silicone, and I can use it to apply. This one is my favorite one because of the shape. I like this one the best. I use this one for molds or like fine if I want to make sure I get, you know, up at the top here. Then I make sure I, you know, use this one just to make sure I get it, you know, evenly distributed. And then sometimes this one I use if I'm putting glitter on. I don't know why I chose it, those, but those seem to work really well for me. But see, look, it just pops right off. So you buy one set of brushes and then you can just keep reusing them. So when you're doing crafts with epoxy, whether you do cups or not, anything that you're doing with epoxy... You can use these silicone, these are makeup brushes. I got them on Amazon. I'll throw up a link so you can look and see and you can look around for them. But you just reuse over and over and then you don't have to keep buying those foam brushes. And they're, the, the silicone doesn't suck up any of the epoxy so it's not gonna waste 
anything. So all you have to do is keep using it over and over. I have a football issue. I'm going to have to adjust that football there for that one before I put it on. So that is my tip. And um, I do have two. Let me see if I can grab. Uh, let's see. I do also have, I've been using these molds for my leftover because, you know, I, I'm all about not wasting, right? So I have these very cool silicone, silicone molds that you can, you know, pick up just about anywhere. And it's very flexible, very bendable. And when I'm done with the cup of epoxy, then whatever is left over, I don't have to waste. I just pour in here and then it can turn into something that looks like this. Let's see if I can get it in the light. There you go. And I put a quick little magnet on the back and then I either give it as like a gift, you know, somebody buys something from me and their kid is there, I'll say pick out a magnet, or sometimes I just even sell them for a quarter or 50 cents, depending upon what I have and how many I have and the day and the customers. So it's a neat way to not throw stuff away and not be wasteful. And um, it makes some pretty neat things. I have another, let's see if I can grab that other one off the table here. This one. Is a little bit different. It's a heavier, just a heavier one. I picked it up off of Amazon. Very flexible still. And it makes this. So put a magnet on the back of her. And it's a very pretty little magnet. And, and then I don't waste. No waste. Throw some glitter in it. Throw some dye in it. Make it swirled or different colored even. But whatever I have left, that's what I use it for. And uh, it makes some neat, neat different designs that I can turn into magnets. So that is my tip. If you're using anything epoxy, you need to take a look at the, getting these brushes so that you can use them over and over again and save yourself some time and money. Hope you have a wonderful evening. If you are out and about tomorrow, Come check me out. I'll be up at the Lansford Autumn Fest, and I will talk to you later. Bye, everybody.